Hey everyone, this is Structural Steve again, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create custom deck templates in OpenBridge Modeler. I'll explain the benefits of creating custom templates as well as show you the quickest way to create them. So there's two main workflows for when you actually go to place a deck using the place deck tool. You can just use an existing template that's in the library that comes with OBM and then modify the variable constraints afterwards for each deck that you place or you can create a, a library template yourself that more meets the needs of what your deck is and then just use that template without having to modify any variable constraints. So the pros for creating that library template yourself to fit your own deck is gonna be, if you have a bridge like this one here, we have three, three different units, right? We have this first unit here, a second unit here, and a third unit here. If we just use the a default template and then modify the variable constraints of that template after we place the deck, then we're going to have to modify those variable constraints three times, once for each unit here. But if we create a library template ourselves and just use that template, then all we have to do is really modify those settings in the template once, and then we can apply that template to each of these units here without having to modify anything afterwards. So to start off with, we'll go to the Utilities tab, then click on Dex. And then that'll bring up your template creation dialog here. So I'm just going to drop down the standard templates list here. And as the normal deck, so I'm going to go on Dex Labs. And slab with constraints is a pretty pretty good one to start with. That'll you know be applicable to most of our cases that we have in, in most of our bridges. So I'm going to make a copy of that to begin with. So I'm just going to go right click, copy. And you'll see that it makes a copy of it below. And then I'll just right click on it again and rename. Just give it whatever name for whatever bridge I'm doing. And then I'm going to click on that to make it active. And then these down here are going to be all the, the points and the variables that are controlling those points. So we'll kind of click through each one to kind of look at it real quick here. Um, you'll notice here on point zero, which is this center point here, and points one and five, which are the top left and top right copings, now those are going to have this elevation, super elevation flag turned on here. Now that's going to be important for when you have a super elevation file and you import that and apply that super elevation file to your deck. That's going to control those points of the deck and apply the super elevation itself. Now that's if you're going to use that super elevation file, um, but in this case here, we're not going to use that. But I just wanted to mention that in case you were wondering what that super elevation flag is. Now looking going back to each one of these points over here, you'll see that the point zero is going to be your working point uh, point here, and this is also the uh, PGL. Point one, we're going to take a look and see what's controlling point one here. That's the top right coping here. Now that's going to be controlled by uh, point zero, and that's also known as the working point. And it's going to be controlled with a horizontal and a slope. So we have a variable assigned to the horizontal constraint and that's going to be the horizontal distance from that point to point zero. And that's a horizontal distance of plus 20. The positive is going to be to the right and negative is going to be to the left. And you'll see all these variables are actually set up for you, which is why I like just taking an existing template, copying it, so you don't have to set all this up yourself here. Point two is going to be a horizontal vertical constraint here. So you have a horizontal constraint from point one. It's always going to be zero feet offset from point one. So it makes it perfectly vertical with point one. And it's also going to have a vertical component, a vertical offset of negative 0.820 feet. And that's going to be negative is going down, positive would be going up. And you can click these other points and kind of see there's similar things. But again, the nice thing about just copying that, that default template is all the stuff's already set up for us. So we don't necessarily need to know what this is doing, but it is kind of good to know what these different you know, constraints are doing for each of these points in case you need to create a, a custom one that's a little more complicated. So for my bridge here, I'm just going to go ahead and modify this as needed. So point one, that's that right coping distance from the PGL. I'm just going to go ahead and update that to 15 feet. And I could rename this if I wanted to, but I'll just leave this as the default since that's what I'm used to seeing from the default templates. The cross slope in this case is going to be negative 0 0.0803 for negative 8.03%. And 
and then I'm going to hit save. And you'll notice that's going to update automatically for me in this preview here. This is kind of like a live DGN preview in a sense of what you're changing in those variable constraints. And you notice here that that uh, last digit kind of got cut off there even when I hit save. And that's just because of my working unit. So I'm going to go ahead and update the design file uh, working units real quick just to make sure I see the, the number of significant digits that I want to see. So I'm going to go to settings, file, design file settings, and under working units, I'm going to drop that accuracy down to four digits. Hit OK. Go back and go back to the decks. Click back on that flyover template there. Click on that first point. Now I can see that, that, oh, that three that I had in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through each one of these points here and modify them as necessary. You know, these three points here, the only thing I need to adjust, the only variable I need to adjust actually is going to be that thickness, the deck thickness. And in my case, uh, for this bridge, it's eight and a half inches. So I'm going to put in negative uh, 0.70833 feet. Hit save. Same thing for this one. Hit save. 0.4, just pointer in here. Update that thickness. And the last one, 0.5, I'm um, going to adjust that horizontal offset. That's a negative 20, right? So that's negative 20 feet horizontal distance from this working point, this point zero. And my bridge, it's going to be negative 35.5. And then again, the cross slope for this is going to be the same as the other one, negative 0.0803 for negative 8.03%. That's just going to be in uh, feet per feet, basically. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And that looks good. So yeah, I can see that live preview of what my deck template is going to look like. And in this case, this looks just about right based on what I know about my bridge. And I'm done. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please help the channel out by hitting that subscribe button you see in the screen now. Give the video a like and share with others. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond to them. See you guys in the next video.